Hello, in this session we are going to look at IFRS 9 and particularly we're going to look at derivatives. So um, when we think of derivatives it tends to be something that we think is pretty complicated but actually if you keep it simple it doesn't have to be. So the first thing you do need to know for any exam on this is the characteristics of a de derivative. They're pretty straightforward because there's three things. First of all, it has little or no value at the start. Okay, so little or no value at inception. And what that means is, for example, if you take out a future, so a future is a derivative. If you take out a future on gold, it doesn't really cost you anything to do that. So it has very little value or no value at the start. It then fluctuates with an underlying asset or rate. So, for example, a future on gold that I've just mentioned will fluctuate with the price of gold. Price of gold goes up, the value of a future on gold goes up. Price of gold goes down, the value of a future on gold goes down. So it fluctuates depending on what's happening with the underlying asset on which it's based. And then it's settled in cash in the future. Really important point because in the exam you might have to try and distinguish between something that looks a bit like a derivative and an actual derivative. And the key determining factor is often that it's settled net in cash at the end. So rather than actually getting a physical asset, Again, using a future on gold, you're not actually going to get gold at the end. You're essentially making a bet on whether gold is going to go up or go down. So it's going to be settled in cash at the end. That makes it a derivative. If you were actually going to get the gold at the end, it wouldn't be a derivative. It would be an own use contract because you're actually going to get the thing at the end. So if you think about the treatment on this, it's related to those characteristics. So the treatment on derivatives is pretty much always fair value through profit and loss. The only time it isn't is when it's part of a hedging relationship which we'll look at in a separate session. The treatment is fair value through profit and loss and because it's got that little or no value at the start it starts at a value of zero. So you bring it into the accounts at zero then it's going to fluctuate. So let's say it goes up to this point. So remember the value of your derivative goes up or down. Well, it's gone up. So that means we're going to have made a profit. So between here and here, so we took it out down here. It went up to there. We have made a gain. Okay, and to record that gain, you would debit a financial asset credit, profit and loss, because it's fair value through profit and loss. Now the key thing is that you've got to determine the gain based on what the value was when you took it out and what it is when it's the year end or you close it. So for example, let's say our future on gold was worth 100 when we took it out. And then by the time the year end came, it was worth 110. The gain is going to be the difference between the date we took it out and the date of the year end or the date we close it. So the gain on this one is going to be 10, which is the difference between the 100 when we took it out and the 110 whenever we um, it came to the year end. And it would be exactly the same for a loss. So if the derivative went down in value, you would debit the P&L, credit a financial liability. So derivatives could be a financial asset if they're making a profit, or they could be a financial liability if they're making a loss. So remember that this is related to the characteristics. You start at zero. It's not worth anything when you bring it into the financial statements. It fluctuates, so it either goes up or it goes down. And then it is going to be settled at the end for a gain or a loss. And the gain or the loss is the difference between when you took it out 
and when it was settled. If it hasn't been settled yet, well then it's going to be a financial asset or a financial liability until it's actually settled.